Hi and welcome to a tutorial over mixed mole problems. Today you'll need out your notes, a periodic table, and a calculator. So make sure to have those out. When we're doing mole conversions, we need to be able to identify whether the problem is a one-step or a two-step problem. A one-step problem requires only one conversion factor. A two-step problem requires two conversion factors. So how do you know? If the problem has the word mole in it, you are given moles or you're asked to find moles, you'll only need one conversion factor. If the problem does not have the word mole in it, you will need two conversion factors. So if it does have mole, one conversion factor. Does not, two. So let's look at some examples. Example one. The question would read, how many grams are in 4.2 times 10 to the 22 atoms of iron? Well, if you look at what the given is, the given is in atoms, and then the unknown is in grams. Okay, the word mole is not in this problem, so we can identify that it is going to be a two-step problem. So what you need to do in a two-step problem is convert to moles in the middle. So for this one, we would start with atoms, convert to moles, and then go from moles to grams. Okay, so if you look at the work, that's exactly what you're seeing. We start with atoms, our units of atoms cancel, and we convert to moles. Then we cannot stop at moles, we go on to solve for grams. So moles cancel and we end up with the unit that we want, which is grams. Then you put all of these steps in your calculator, round to the correct number of sig figs, and you get your final answer. Let's look at another one. The problem reads, how many formula units are in 4.6 moles of sodium chloride. So I'm starting with moles and I'm going to formula units. Because mole is in the problem, this is just a one-step problem, which we like. They're very, very easy. So here's the work. I started with moles. Of course, moles go on the bottom so my units can cancel. And I converted to formula units using 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd formula units. My units cancel. I put this in my calculator and I have my final answer. Let's look at another example. So example three. It says, how many liters of carbon dioxide gas at STP are in 43 grams of carbon dioxide gas? So your given is in grams, and you're converting to liters. You cannot do that in one step. It's going to take you two steps because you have to convert two moles in the middle. So two steps. Looking at the work, we started with grams. We put grams on the bottom so our units can cancel. We converted to moles. Then we put moles on the bottom so our units can cancel. And we converted lastly to liters. Putting this all in the calculator, you end up with 21.9 liters of carbon dioxide as your final answer. So let's actually do a couple of these problems. They may look complicated, but if you know your conversion factors, it makes this very easy. So it says, remember, one mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. You've got to know what particles are. Your particles are atoms, molecules, and formula units. Okay. Your second conversion factor is that one mole equals x grams, where x is the molar mass. Remember for that one, you look on your periodic table to find the molar mass. And then lastly, the easiest one, which is one mole equals 22.4 liters. So I'm going to use a combination of these in order to solve the problem. So follow along at first, and then you may get better as you continue. So number one. Find the number of moles in 25.0 grams of ammonium nitrate. 
so here's the deal. I'm starting with grams and I want to go to moles. Because moles is in the problem, I know this is a one step, which makes me very happy because it should be very easy to do. So I start with my given 25.0 grams of ammonium nitrate. If I started with grams, grams should go on the bottom, and then my unknown moles go on the top. So one mole is equal to x grams. I'm using the second conversion factor here. Well, where do I find that? on my periodic table. So I actually have to add up the molar mass of ammonium nitrate. If you're struggling to do this, please see the tutorial that says moles to mass conversions, and I work a few of these. So previously doing this for you, I find that the molar mass of ammonium nitrate is 80.043 grams. This is equal to one mole. So I'm going to plug it into my problem. 80.043 grams. My units of grams are going to cancel. And then putting this in my calculator, I get a final answer. Don't forget to round to sig figs. So I need three sig figs in my answer. My final answer is 0.312 moles of ammonium nitrate. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and erase this just to give some space. It's a little messy when you're doing all of these problems on one page. So let's look at number two. Number two, what is the volume? Okay, you should know that volume is measured in liters of 1.15 times 10 to the 28 molecules of oxygen gas. So I'm starting with molecules here, and I'm expected to convert to liters, okay? This is not going to be a one-step problem. This is going to take me two steps because I've got to convert to moles in the middle. So follow along and see how we do this. I'm going to start with my given in molecules. 1.15 times 10 to the 28 molecules. And I have to convert to moles in the middle. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to have molecules on the bottom so the units can cancel. And I'll have moles on the top. Well, which conversion factor out of the three does this for me? It would be the very first one. So one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Show that molecules have canceled. So now I know that I'm in units of moles. I don't want to be in moles. I want to be in liters or volume units. So now I need moles to cancel. So moles go on the bottom and liters go on the top. What's going to take me from moles to liters? This third conversion factor. So for every one mole, I have 22.4 liters. Units of moles cancel, and I end up in liters. So multiplying across the top and dividing by the bottom, I end up getting a grand total of 4.28 times 10 to the fifth liters of oxygen gas. Okay? So go ahead and try number three. Actually, number three is going to be a one step. So I have faith that you can do that because it's going from moles to liters. So that would be a one step. So let's skip that one. You can just find that on the key. Um, do number four on your own. So pause the video for a second and try number four. Okay, welcome back. So we're doing number four um, in our notes together now that you've tried it. It started with atoms, and it's going to grams. So we know this is going to be a two-step problem, okay? So I'm going to write out what I need to do. I need to start with atoms. I'm going to convert to moles in the middle, and then I'll end up in grams. This is kind of a tough one. So here's my given. 8.45 times 10 to the 25th atoms. 
I need to convert to moles. So atoms go on the bottom, one mole go on the top. So this is that first step right here. For every 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, I have one mole. That's just using this first conversion factor. Atoms cancel. I'm in units of moles. But I don't want to be in moles. I want to be in grams. So I'm going to continue. So I have to put moles on the bottom so they cancel. Grams go on the top. I'm using the second conversion factor to do this. So for every one mole, I have... I'm looking at my sheet here. Um, the molar mass of copper is 63.546 grams of copper. So moles cancel, and I end up with grams. Remember, for molar mass, you're always looking at the periodic table to get that number. That's a common question kids ask. So multiplying across the top and dividing by the bottom, I get a final answer of 8.92 times 10 to the third grams of copper. Put your final answer in a box. And I highly recommend trying the next few problems on here as well and then looking at the key online to see how well you did. Don't forget to fi uh, fill out your WISC, your WSQ, um, um, and then I will see you in class tomorrow. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. Have a good evening.